Welcome to quantitative aptitude video from career light. In this video, we would be dealing with different kind of problems from the chapter trains. The problems of this chapter are very frequently asked in various aptitude examinations conducted all across the nation. May it be conducted by banks, may it be conducted by various business schools or the government bodies. We will be focused on five different kind of problems from this chapter which in the end of during the end part of this video would give you the feeling that you would have covered almost 95 percent of this topic and you would be in the condition to attack any problem when faced in future from this chapter a train is moving at the speed of 180 kilometers per hour if the length of the train is 100 meters how long will it take to cross a good train platform 200 meter long now the speed of the train is given that is 180 kilometers per hour and everything else is given in meter so we would convert 180 in meter per second so to convert something which is given in kilometers per hour into meter per second we multiply by 5 by 18 we need to learn this and when we have to do the vice versa we have to convert it meter per second into kilometers per hour we multiply by 18 by 5 so 118 into 5 by 18 is equal to 50 meters per second now we have to find out how long will it take to cross a good strain of platform 200 meter long. The distance covered in passing the platform would be the length of the train plus the length of the platform. This would be the total distance for a train to touch and leave the platform. So 100 plus 200 is equal to 300 meters. The speed we have already calculated which is 50 meters per second. So 300 upon 50 is equal to 6 seconds would be the total time taken to cross the train. Second question, in what time will an express train 400 meters long cross an electric pole if its speed is 360 kilometers per hour? Now again, the speed is given 360 kilometers per hour and we need to change it into meter per second. So we would multiply by 5 by 18 and convert it to 100 meter per second. The distance covered in passing the electric pole would only be equal to the length of the train. This case, in this case, there is no platform, so no length of platform is added to length of train. Only the length of train just because it is just crossing a pole. So the length of the train is 400 meters. We will divide the total distance to 400 meters covered by the speed of the train, 100. So we get 4 seconds would be the time taken to cross the electric pole. Third question. An express train traveled at the average speed of 50 km per hour stopping for 2 minutes after every 150 km how long did it take to reach its destination 300 km from starting point now the speed of the train is given average speed that is 50 km per hour the total distance which it has to cover 300 km per hour so we can easily get how much time it would take to reach there divide the distance by speed we get 6 hours 6 hours is the time it would take to reach to cover 300 kilometers now it has said that the train stops for 2 minutes after at every 150 kilometers so it can easily be divided into 2 parts of 150 each and after traveling 150 it stops for 100, uh, for 2 minutes number of stoppings in this case would be 2 1 at the midpoint and second at last so omitting the last stopping we get the number of stoppings to be 1 so time taken at one stop which is the midpoint 2 minutes the total time would be 2 minutes for one stop so we already have calculated the total time taken to cover 300 kilometers which is 6 hours and we'll add 2 minutes to it so total time taken to reach the destination would be 6 hours and 2 minutes fourth question a train passes a station platform in 72 seconds and a man standing on platform in 40 seconds. If the speed of the train is 108 kilometers per hour, what is the length of the platform? To find the length of the train, what you do is we we'll assume the length of the train to be x. Speed of the train is given 108 kilometers per hour, so we will convert it into meter per second by multiplying it by 5 by 18. We get 30 meters per second. Now we need to see how much time would it take to cross the man? 
for that we would only take into consideration the length of the train we have done this in previous questions so the length of the train would be time taken to cross the man 40 into the speed of the train so 30 to 40 is equal to 1200 meters this would be the length of the train the fact to find the length of the platform we will assume it as y and the time taken to cross the platform is 72 seconds so total distance would be covered would be the length of the train plus the length of the platform this is also we have done in previous questions so the total distance covered in case of platform would be the length of the train plus length of the platform we have calculated the length of the train which is 1200 we have assumed length of platform to be y and for total distance covered we have the speed of the train 30 meters per second into the time taken to cross the platform that is 72 so 30 into 72 minus 1200 would be equal to minus y so y we get as 960 this would be the length of the platform i hope these problems would inject the confidence in each and every one of you so that you can go on and solve the problems from this chapter confidently thank you